Hey everybody, it's Janice with Creating to Chaos, and today we're going to take this spoon that I got at Hobby Lobby from the spring section a while ago, and we're going to make a snowman out of it. So I'm going to paint just the inside of the spoon, I'm going to leave the edge wood colored, and I ended up doing two coats of the white paint. I just made sure that I went really slowly around the edges not to get any paint on that wood part. And I used a nice soft brush so that I didn't have a lot of brush strokes. And the color that I used is called buttermilk. So I'm gonna let that dry. And once that was dry, I took a sweater that I got at a thrift store and I cut the sleeve off of it. I'm gonna use that to put his little hat on. So I'm just gonna pull that down over and then attach it with a little hot glue on either side and a little bit in the back. So I folded the cuff over so we had a little cuff on his hat and then just glued those into place. So I'm gonna glue that back and then I'm gonna pull back that cuff and glue in there too. And then I'm gonna ruffle up the top and I'm gonna grab some twine and I'm just gonna tie that off. So I'm just gonna tie off this top piece. So I just push it all together and then just tie it. Kind of get it the way you want before you tie it tight. I'm gonna cut off those excess. And then I'm gonna take the top and I'm gonna kind of pull it apart and I'm just gonna cut slits down the whole thing to kind of give it like a pom-pom look. So just keep cutting slits all the way around that little loop that was up there. And now it kind of looks like a pom-pom. And then I'm gonna pull it all together and then cut it a little shorter. And that's perfect. And I think that turned out so cute. You could use fabric, you could use whatever you want to make the hat, but I just thought the sleeve from the sweater was really cute. Next, I'm gonna take the back side of a paintbrush and I'm gonna dip it in some black paint and I'm gonna make two eyes. And I just kinda went around in little circles with the paint just to get the eyes the size that I wanted them. And to make sure that they were good circles. Next, I'm gonna take this pencil and I'm just gonna draw out a little carrot nose and you can kind of mess with this and you know make it however you want and then I'm going to take some orange paint and I'm just gonna fill that in and it took two coats of the orange to cover and the color that I used is burnt orange and it's by deco art a lot of people ask me about the color orange that I use in my projects, and that is the color I use. It's my favorite orange. So once I have that all filled in, I am going to take some red paint and white paint. I mixed it to make a pink, and then I used a Q-tip to put some rosy cheeks on him. And then I'm just going to take a damp baby wipe and just kind of wipe off some of that excess of the pink because it was a little too bright for what I wanted. Now I'm going to add the little dots with the back of another paintbrush for his mouth. And how super cute is he? Next I'm just going to take this little stylus thing I had and just do two white dots and I added a couple of eyebrows. I did the two white dots right in his eyes. Next I'm going to take some of this fabric that I have the ticking fabric, it's red ticking fabric. I'm just gonna rip a strip of that. I actually ripped two strips because we're gonna need two for this project. So I ripped one, this one's gonna be his scarf. I'm gonna pull off all those little extra strings. I'm gonna tie that right around the base of the spoon. And then I'm gonna take this grubby tag that I had and I'm gonna stamp Let It Snow on it. And I've made these spoons before. I actually made them for my booth and I've also made them to sell at craft fairs. And I believe that I did a video a long time ago with the wooden spoons. Once I had the tag all stamped, I'm gonna take a rusty bell and a rusty safety pin and I'm gonna attach that tag right to his little scarf. So I'm just gonna push that right through the knot that's in the scarf and then close up my safety pin once I get it through there. The ticking fabric is really thick, so it's hard to get. 
something through it. And that tag's just so cute. How adorable is this already? Next, I'm going to take a... Oh, I trimmed off the excess on his scarf so it wasn't as long. Then I'm going to take that other piece of ticking and then I'm going to cut that in half so that it's smaller. And then I'm going to use that piece, that smaller piece, and I'm going to attach that around the top half of the hat to hide the twine that I used to cover it. And then just cut off the excess. So he's got a little bow on his hat that matches the scarf. Next, I'm going to take this rusty star and kind of figure out where I wanted it placed. I decided on the left side of his hat. And then I had a snowflake button that I'm going to use. And I'm going to add that to the top of the little knot that we made on the hat. Just kind of pop that right there. And this project is done. How stinking cute did this turn out? I absolutely love it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it inspires you to make one. Thank you for watching. And as always, don't forget to spread the chaos.